Hello and welcome back to the Watford Way. Not a video I really wanted to be making today, but unfortunately we do have to bring you the news around Watford in the transfer window. And that news is, unfortunately, that Ben Walmot has moved to Stoke on a permanent transfer and a bit of a shame that it is a permanent deal as well. I was hoping that it would be a loan. Um, you know, I was expecting some movement around Ben Wilmot this transfer window. It's quite evident last season in the championship that Zisco obviously didn't rate him that highly. He wasn't getting the game time that I think he deserved. Um, so it was expected that Ben wanted to move. Um, unfortunately, it is to Stoke on a permanent transfer. Um, you know, they've got a real jump of a player there. I think, you know, I think it's only 1.5 to 2 million pounds um they're paid for him which is an absolute bargain you know if i was watford in a non-covid market i'd be looking to get between five and, and seven million pounds for ben really because he, he is that quality um you know his ball playing ability he's aerially quite good as well um, and it is just such a shame that we've let another talented player go i know we brought matty pollock in that's probably why we did bring matty pollock in because ben wilmot was leaving but still i am absolutely gutted look i wish him all the best um, at Stoke. Hopefully, you know, hopefully Watford have some first refusal thing where if another club does make an offer for Ben at Stoke, we do have first refusal on that if we want to go in for him again. Um, but I think that's quite unlikely in it. And yeah, you know, I'm just... I'm lost for words, really. I just don't like it when, when we let talented players go. But you have to look at the calibre of centre-backs we've got at Watford now. You know, if I go through some of them now, William Schuster Kong, Christian Cabaselle, of course, Francisco Sirielta, Craig Cathcart, and Matty Pollock's arrived. And we'll probably look to bring another centre-back in as well because I don't expect Matty Pollock to really um, be starting any games for us this season. So, yeah absolutely gutted look i wish ben all the best for his time at stoke hopefully stoke never play us and he can't come back to haunt us but but there we have it let us know your thoughts on ben's move to stoke in the comment section below as i said i'm absolutely gutted but hopefully we'll be reporting on some better news to come in the transfer window soon so thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you for another stream or video very very soon Bye bye